Hey guys, Lex here. Today a quick video to show you how to install running boards on a Ford Econoline. This is a 250 model, but this works on all 99 to 2014 uh, Ford Econoline vans. Uh, full size, that is. This is like a long running board, I think about 80 inches or so. And I think the space here was 86, so it fills it up completely. As you, you guys can see, the boards are, this is from iBoard Auto. We got them on Amazon. Aluminum boards, solid of all the mountain brackets they're all labeled although the labeling doesn't mean nothing that's why i'm doing this video to show you guys how to do it because the directions are confusing and annoying there might be some drilling involved we'll see how that goes but there is actually technically mountain holes there so i'll get everything organized and i'll show you guys all the steps we're gonna start passenger side from the front over here in the front we're using these two bigger brackets as opposed to the other ones that are going to go down the side here but um, this one, as you see this design, this is the PFM, it's going right here, like in the middle. And then the PCM, which is this design, which is gonna go like this, is going right here to the front. So first, what you're doing, is going right here, you got this rubber tab, I'm gonna pull this out. And over here, there's a hole which I'm gonna have to redraw as it's rusted shut or whatever. And we'll get to that. But basically, we're grabbing this bracket, we're sliding it in here. Gotta shove it in there. Now we're gonna have to make a little extra space because it's supposed to look like this the second bracket that goes right here. And then. This way, this way, and then when you screw it in, this rotates and locks into place. So sometimes they give you plastic tabs to hold this in place, in this case it didn't. So now when you grab your bracket, it's gonna go right in there, and then a little support bolt is gonna hold it there. So that's gonna be one. So I'll install this, I'll do that one, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. This is the small support bolt that's going to go right in here. But before you do that, you want to get one of these extra supportive clips that they give you. So we're going to pop this in here and then we're going to uh, throw the bracket over it and tighten it down like that as well, along with the bigger bolts. And the sockets you need for all this, for the big bolts, you need 16, 16 millimeter. And for the little ones here, you need um, a 13 and then a 10 for these guys right there. Yeah, so here's one bracket. Just so you guys know, this goes on the outside. Everything's just hand tightened for now. And then over here. And that's it. So then we're gonna do the same thing with the front bracket. I'm just gonna make a hole for this little screw. And we'll move on to the next ones. All right, so we got the front two done. Same idea with this one. We drill the new hole here. And we got it all set up. Still loose, it's not fully secure. So now with these brackets, a um, little different idea. We're using these clips. There's no more uh, brackets like these. This is for the uh, driver's side. Um, doing here as you see you have these little squares so we're putting our uh, bracket in here like that and now this are lining up Actually, this one, the, the other ones didn't. So, okay, excellent. So this one's gonna go here. So one more clip here. And then we'll tighten this down. It didn't show it before. Crush washer, flat washer. And that's how we're installing this um, for each one. And here's a bracket on the outside. So we'll get that one on. Here it is. So this was the PCM one. That was the metal bracket. That's what it looks like installed. So three down, two to go. Next one's gonna go here. 
and then at the end here and that's all five of them we got the last two installed prm is the one before the end and then the other prm um is at the end so this is the last two so that's all done guys now we can install the rail step rail and then we can tighten all this down all the brackets are ready five total and now we get prep our rail there is no left or right i mean front or back or left or right it's all the same uh these, we're grabbing these little scre screws now put them right in here and they just slide in i'm gonna line these up with the holes on each bracket pop this over it and then we're gonna use the flat washer on the 10 millimeter uh, heads to tighten it all down so we throw it on now you can adjo adjust the left or right how you want it to line up so we're doing it in the middle and also you can slide it in or out because you have spacing here to adjust so now like i said the washer and the screws 10 millimeter we're gonna throw these on tighten it down and we're done and there it is guys all installed solid and it looks great yep a lot better than those wheels that just screwed to the side of the paneling that this probably had before that we sold the rest of the screws but don't forget to tighten all the main bolts under there for the brackets and everything else every few months check this make sure it's all solid and that's it if you guys want to see the driver's side i might do a clip on that too but we're not doing that today so comment below but the idea should be the same thank you for watching please subscribe follow any questions comments below thank you